Welcome back to an introductory course on ground support equipment. In this lecture, we will learn about the equipment which is used to replenish the aircraft water tank. It is also known as portable water tank. Starting with the aircraft water requirement, as hundreds of passengers are on board the aircraft for very long time, water is required on the aircraft for preparing beverages such as tea and coffee. Moreover, the business class has separate luxury showers and most importantly, water is also required for lavatory usage and emergency medical usage. So keeping the requirements in mind, a narrow body aircraft that is an A320 contains approximately 200 liters water tank capacity, whereas the wide body aircraft and the narrow body aircraft have more than 1000 liter capacity. All the aircraft have water tanks fitted with the drain line, filling line and an overflow line. A water tank consists of simply an aerial platform that is used to make the connections between the aircraft and the truck. Well, apart from all the other uses of water on the aircraft, the most common application is drinking water. There are several problems with the drinking water provided on the aircraft. In 2004, the Environmental Protection Agency tested portable water on board the aircraft for more than 150 randomly selected aircraft. and it turns out that every 8th aircraft carried harmful bacteria in their drinking water. These results were shared with the airlines to work on this system. EPA conducted this repeated test the same year again and the results were very unlikely. Almost 17% of the samples still contained harmful bacteria. This promoted EPA for regulating the aircraft drinking water for the public. Thus, EPA developed a regulatory document called aircraft drinking water rule and it was implemented in 2011. The main problem in maintaining the aircraft drinking water quality is that the aircraft travels to so many different destinations and the portable water is replenished at all these different locations by different ground handling companies. So maintaining the quality and standard was becoming difficult. Therefore, the majority of the airlines provided sealed drinking water bottles to the passengers and in general, drinking aircraft tap water was discouraged. So this was it for portable water and also for this section. I hope that you have gained enough knowledge and insights from this section. I would recommend you to re-watch the lectures once again in case you missed something. See you all in the last section of this course.